invasion, but really it was like, uh, this might be dating some of uh, the movies, you know, going back, way back, but there was a movie called, um, what was it, uh, The Body Snatchers, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, uh, which is awful, and I'm so sorry horrible but it was kind of like that this person was portraying themselves to be overtaken and a little bit kind of of the original movie alien um the scene in the galley um with the alien uh who manifests so i don't want to and i don't i want to say this as a disclosure i don't watch horror films um, gosh, <laughs> watching the news is a horror film. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but you know what I mean? Life is, life is enough. I don't need to see someone screaming on the screen. It just, I usually watch comedies or, um, science fiction in the sense of, you know, like, um, science and, you know, going to, you know, um, you know, just just uh, educational more things because I don't have a lot of time when I watch television so so usually it's something that I can talk to my daughter about later not you know I don't know something horrible uh, I don't you know like I said life is scary enough anyway sorry <laughs> very long intro uh, so yes that's where we are and I just want to get right into it because I don't want to spend a lot of time on this topic and and actually I have been given a abduction alien abduction dream many years ago and I did share it here so I'll put the link um, that one's truly upsetting <laughs> It beyond upsetting but the Lord wanted to get my attention and yep sure did <laughs> so I'll share that with you if you if you want if you like you can um, press on the link and and it'll take you right to that video anyway okay I see myself above like observing a nighttime scene in a residential area of a cul-de-sac or dead end street similar to this where I was above and I could see the homes I could see that it was not a through street and it was nighttime but it looked cluttered there was all kinds of machinery and vehicles and people everywhere there were floodlights huge lights that were shining at the homes directly so they lit them up from the front and uh, there were people milling all around uh, but they didn't look like they are, were from the street and if they were from the street they were uh, working but it was it was crew I could see wires I could see um, camera equipment this looked like a movie set but I knew in, in my vision and what what I could see my visualization of what was going on it looked false it looked um, choreographed made up you know like a movie but the people who were on that street didn't have the same perception I I'm not sure a hundred percent why I was able to see past uh, the production uh, and the people were still kind of under this delusion um, but I was observing so I, I got a clear vision and then in, in the middle of all of this mayhem was a huge crane and a man sitting in a chair this is very similar to what I saw but instead of this bright spotlight imagine and if you see above it there's some sort of square shape of some sort um, imagine that was a office chair you know the ones the wheelie ones you can push around with your feet and move to different parts of your desk um, he was sitting in that in an office chair um, looks like a regular person held up by this crane so he was above everyone you know uh, 20 30 feet 
high in the air and he's screaming like he is in the most excruciating pain and I'm watching him uh, going through this so the people are milling around um, the, the crew you know with all the wires and the lights people are by their homes with all these big floodlights pointed at their homes and all the people from the homes were watching this man sitting in this office chair wailing like he's in the most worst pain he's ever been in his life and this parts I don't want to say graphic but it's kind of gross so I'm just gonna show briefly um, but he had something coming from his abdomen his his core his stomach um, similar to this uh, I don't know what it was but it was these cylinder like tube things that were moving around uh, from outside or inside out and they had it they looked like a uh, like this with the hole at the end it was awful and I don't want to show it anymore <laughs> sorry um it was just hard to see that in my dream and oh i apologize i had this dream um let's see uh right before halloween october 30th and i've been praying over it because one it's a horrible dream and then two uh, sorry this is a sidebar and two um i wanted to understand why i was seeing this alien invasion dream and i think it's what's i i don't know but it was time to share it uh, today uh, with you now okay sorry so let's get back to the dream this man is wailing in this chair held in a crane high above the ground wailing with those things tentacle tube like things coming out of his stomach and I knew the deception was an alien either was coming out of him he was alien um, but this thing that was coming out of his lower intestines like I don't want like I said I don't want to get gross but anyway but th whatever this was was a part of him or he was a part of it or it was taking over and I don't know if they, they were trying to pull him away but there was something wrong with this man and I, I I even though he had all this grossness going on I zoomed in and this is what I saw he was laughing I I think what it was is the closer I got to him for all the screaming and wailing uh, that we assumed he was in pain he felt nothing and I knew I could it was like I could feel that he felt nothing and I think that's what my curiosity was like why can't you what's wrong why can't and, and I knew he he possibly wasn't even human himself this was a ruse and he was laughing at us it was a uh, um, it was a deception he was deceiving us it was a uh, he was acting it was all a lie so even though they were seeing this man wailing and screaming in this chair with this thing um, coming from him or whatever uh, truly he was laughing at us and he knew he was the bait so it's almost like a fishing line, right? You think about that crane? Anyway, back to the dream. So now I zoom into the people and I'm watching them, like seeing this man, and they were scared now. They turned and they went into the house. And with all these homes, everyone went in inside their house and it was so bright, the light was so bright, shining into their home. Uh, they didn't need even to turn on the lights inside their home. I went in one of the homes with one of these families still observing and the light was shining in very bright and we we're standing by the front door and I want to tell you once we went inside there was such a peace. It was a peace and a calm that was in this house. 
but there was like maybe one or two people that was concerned about the man and it was like a seal was broken they opened the door how do I say this once they opened the door that protection that sense of peace left it was like a vacuum just sucked out and once the door was open they willingly allowed and I, I have this picture of the police dressed in this heavy armored that I want to say the authority but they were dressed very heavily armored um, I don't want to say military I don't want to say they were they were the authority and the person who was walking out of the house um, they they were they gave in to this authority and left their home this peaceful place and went with them freely went with them and that was actually the end of the dream okay so um, I have ideas but I you know I'm actually gonna step out of this because for me it is clear that this is a deception dream and that what the people were observing was something completely over top and created it was a it was like the finale at the fireworks it was just it was the big it was the big to do and the ones that could be pulled out of their protected home were taken but they but the person the authority who was waiting for them to open their doors couldn't open the door they had to wait till that door was open and then they just collected the people easily without any issue um, so I mean we can, we can go on but I'm gonna leave this up to you and if you would like to comment on this please leave it below please pray over this I don't know what it means and you know I'm not one of those people because I I do believe that um, aliens are like fallen angels I know a lot of people have their feelings about it and that's why I said I don't want to get into it because I don't want to it's not a debatable thing it's a dream but I would love to hear your opinion and your thoughts and what the Lord presses on you about this dream because it's so weird <laughs> it's a weird one um, but let's get into a little bit of scripture and then I'll let you go okay second Thessalonians 2 and I will read the whole thing because I believe the whole thing kind of wraps up this idea of the deceiver how you'll be deceived in in what capacity they will appear and show themselves and then also the comfort in knowing that if you believe in Christ and know that he's coming that you're under that protection so we'll uh, like I said we'll just um, read it and we'll um, go through it Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or trouble, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God remember ye not that when I was yet with you I told you these things and now ye know what withholdeth 
that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who, excuse me, now letteth will let until he be taken. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Who, excuse me, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of righteousness, unrighteousness, excuse me, unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send, excuse me, and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the state, excuse me, the spirit and the belief of the truth. Whereunto he called you by our gospel to obtaining the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, Stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or by epistle. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation, excuse me, consolation and good hope through grace. Comfort your heart, hearts, and establish you in every good word and work. Amen. Okay, so thank you for your time and um, allowing me to go through Second Thessalonians, the Second Thessalonians two with you, um, because it felt like the whole thing was encompassed in that dream and I don't know what the dream means I don't know what the exact what the Lord's telling me except for we need to watch and pray as we're told we need to keep our eyes open we need to not slumber and and I know we're all getting a little weary um, it ha it's it's human nature to um, want to rest when we're close to the end of, of something that we're doing but it said, we need to hold because the, the, the coming of the Lord, Jesus Christ, is soon. Okay. Oh, it got long. I love you all. I truly do. And God loves you more. And I thank God for you all. That's been pressing on me for probably about a week now, and I'm so grateful I can share that with you in the video. I thank God for each and every one of you. You're a blessing to me. With your love, support, guidance, friendship, fellowship, all of it, thank you. Please take care, and may God bless and keep you all. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.